We're back. Sound. Hey, everyone's back. How's it going? Uh, I'm finishing off my my cuttlefish crap pot. We're just going to make the entrances, and I'm going to do uh, the fingers on the entrances with cable ties. So I'm just getting set up for that. Got the old rivet gun out. Uh, my phone just crashed. I've had loads of comments and uh, loads of uh, messages come through. So it, it crashes my phone sometimes. I get that. One day I won't get many comments and the next day I'll get bombarded and then uh, my phone crashes. <laughs> Oh, well, Scott. Oh, cheers, Fort and Fishing, mate. I'm good, thanks. I didn't go live last night, so I was a bit knackered, so I didn't bother. Are you going to make the entrances like a minnow trap? Like triangle? No, these are going to be that sort of shape, but they're going to have sort of cable tie fingers like this, so the cuttlefish can come through, but they can't come back out again. That is the plan. Only pliers, pliers. They're gonna push their way in. No, they won't be able to do that. And if they do, then fair play. <laughs> See what I mean? And then there'll be some coming from that end as well. And they'll end up like that, like like fingers. Ha <laughs> Oh, that's great. It didn't even bloody work, did it? That was the idea anyway. Why did that pull through? Maybe I'll do it from the inside.
That's better. That first one didn't work very well. Oi, oi, inglorious. I need something to put it on. Same kind of plan, is it? Haha. -ha. I'm playing around at the moment, but uh, they ain't working too well. I'll leave that one like that for now. That's easier. Did he do tutorial on leveling kitchen? <laughs> Day two in the smash shed. Yeah, we're going squid fishing tonight. So uh, hopefully we can get something decent. Need some sort of backer for it, eh? It's not working out the way I wanted it to. If in doubt, put a bigger rivet in. <laughs> Bigger rivets are the key. Right, we're sorted. Hopefully we've got enough. Two on. Ah, we're getting somewhere now. That was a bit of a nightmare to get that first one in. They were a bit small. So what they were doing is pushing through the plastic. Sorted. Thank you. 
It's actually quite time consuming, this isn't even real though. Dee 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 Why don't you move your pot somewhere else you might get something uh, This ain't a crab pot mate dee dee dee. Try to pasta with squid ink Not bad at all Yeah uh seen that quite a lot people cooking pasta and rice and stuff with a uh, squid ink it's just not my sort of thing This is a lot more fiddly than it looks, I can tell you that much, guys. One more there, and that's that side. And what I'll do is I'll heat these up and bend them over, and then uh, that should be enough to keep the cuttlefish in. Fingers crossed. You testing that tonight? I might be, yeah, Dan. If I can get it finished in time, I will. This is going to be quite time consuming making all this. Why don't you just zip tie them on? How do you zip tie them onto the side there? That'd be, I don't understand what you mean by that, mate. Right, Jamie. Hello again, my brother. All right, Keith, how's it going? We will finish this eventually. Like a glove. Do you want to see what I'm doing, guys? I'll show you. 
see the rivets here and then yeah be like that and these will be bent in a little bit as well Dee 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 dee. Then four that way. See, closes the entrance a little bit more. Have you ever tried cuttlefish sashimi? No, I haven't. I've tried squid straight off the, uh, I cut a chunk off a squid net and that was disgusting. <laughs> Dee 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 dee. Yeah, put some eyelashes on it, eh, John? Definitely, mate. Uh, we're in a rhythm now, we're getting there. Clifton Chili Club, you right, mate? We're still building the uh, cuttlefish trap. Sweet. I'm live at the moment. Uh, so. Can you bring it back out? Yeah. 
I'll be back. We're back. What's the most exotic thing you've eaten? Probably the blue swimmer crabs, to be fair. Prototype? I'm just messing around, really. I just want to see if I can catch a cuttlefish in it. We shall see. Ordered a packet of 20 uh, really big glow lights. So I'm going to use just my little rod tip ones for now in this. If I use it beforehand and then when the big lights come then uh, hopefully that will give me a better chance. Come on get in. We're getting there. Uh, I don't mind if there's like a little gap on the side, you know. It's just mainly to stop them from uh, finding an entrance too easily. It's quite time consuming. Sorry if it gets a bit boring, guys. What's your favorite catch you have caught in the rock pools? Uh, probably lobsters to be fair. I love catching lobsters. We will get there in the end.
Ah, we're getting there. Two more on this one. Make sure to hit that like button, guys. What's the worst thing you've eaten? Uh, rats are nasty. Um, what else? Top knots ain't, ain't that great. Limpets ain't that great. All good smash fishing. Cooked up a great bean spa. Show you all. Picture. Hopefully you'll be up late. Oh, nice one, Clifton. I'll have a look for that. I've seen the chicken wings that went up last time. They look bloody good. So, you know how to, you, uh, you know how to cook on a barbecue? Or whoever cooked them, should I say? I'm hoping I've got enough, uh, enough rivets for this. Oh, she's looking good. That's the idea guys, is the cuttlefish can swim in and then when when it comes this way to try and get back out, it's it's got a barrier there. He's wanting a blue Peter badge for this one. <laughs> right, pencil. This pencil's rubbish. So rotten. Sorted. Hundred and forty two in the live. Hi Jay. How much would one of those pots cost to buy? Uh you can't buy them. This is a custom pot. I just made it. And uh, this is going to be the entrance that goes into there. And later on we're going to wrap it in rope and stuff as well to uh, shore it up a bit.
Dee 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 Right, one more rivet in there. Oh, I missed one in there as well. So I'll put one each side and then we're done. On this one anyway. We're getting there. Slowly but surely. Slow and steady wins the race, as they say. I might have to go get some more... Uh, some more rivets. I'm pretty sure I do actually. One done. Now I'm sitting there like that, see? Or do I put another one on the side? No, I think I'll leave it like that. Do I stick another one? I'm going to put another one there, I think. What I'll do is I reckon put another one each side and then I'll cut them a bit smaller. Because I want them to see an entrance through, otherwise, otherwise they're not going to go through. That makes sense, doesn't it? Something like that. Yeah. Looks like they could find their way through the sides. Yeah, Maggie, uh, I want them to have an entrance where, where they, if they look from this end, where they see an entrance to get in. I don't want this to be too clogged up because it's just going to look like netting. Uh, I don't mind if they can get out now and again, you know, because this is only going to be down for like four hours. So, yeah, that's my thinking anyway. I don't know. I'm going to have to finish this entrance and then uh, I'll work on the crab pot, uh, on the main pot. Because I haven't got enough big rivets to do it.
Getting there. She's definitely getting there. One more there, and then we're good. I don't know if you guys can see this. Bring it down. What I'm going to do, cut them down a bit. Right, I'm going to cut these down. There we go. Now they're getting out. And there's a big enough hole for them to realize they can actually get through there. And when they try to get back out again, you see, it's really difficult to get back out of that. Sorted. Yeah, that actually came out quite well, that. What bait are you gonna use? I'm gonna use mackerel heads and big glow lights. You need to catch a female cuttle and leave it in your trap. Yeah, exactly that, Tim, for sure. And that'll sit nicely in there, look at that. Perfect. That ain't bad, that old chap. I'm quite pleased with that. I need some more rivets though. Or do I just use the bigger ones? So I just use the bigger ones? Hmm. I don't know. That looks wicked, that though, look at that. That's a beast. <laughs> I've been fishing the other night, but no new species yet. I'll keep trying, Steve, you'll get them in the end, mate. You know what? I'm gonna use these instead. I got some big beefy ones. How will you secure the wide buckets 
in that slot. Uh, that's all to come yet. Uh, I've still got to uh, wrap this in rope. I've got to tie these joints up a little bit more. I've got to fix these in place and all I'm going to do is just string them I think. And uh, I think I'm going to make a hatch here. I'm going to make a hatch on the top. Just because it will be easier to bait it and to get the stuff out as well. So yeah. Back to riveting. Oh, really? That's mean. Some of the phrases. Oh hell, those are tight. They ain't coming out. Bloody. <laughs> I might just leave one in. Those are so tight, I might just leave one in these. It looks like it's one of the minions now. <laughs> Nice one. Put it through that way. Might be easier that way. Yeah, those are wow strong, those. Should have used these in the first place. It's gonna go wild quicker now. I won't be long with this one guys, 200 in the live, make sure to hit that like button guys, goes a long way for the channel, and we're building cuttlefish traps. Those are solid, these ones.
was in the light. Is there a reason or size limit on cuttlefish? Uh, I don't believe there is over here. Uh, same as squid, I believe there's no um, there's no uh, limit to how many you can take or how big they are either. Quite like making these, it's pretty cool. So you guys can see a little bit more. Oh wow, who's that? Alan Hayworth, great job smash. Thanks mate, you're a legend. I appreciate that. Two hundred and three in the live. I wish I used these massive ones at the start. They're well better for this. Racking two more, and we're nearly there. Look at that. This one looks better than the last one. It's always funny how you make a plan in your head, eh, and then, uh, uh, and that phone goes out the window because you make up a better plan. Good thing about these as well, these are only a quid. So if I had to or one pound forty one, if I had to replace these, it wouldn't it wouldn't cost an arm and a leg, you know? It only cost me a few cable ties and that's it. I'm one pound forty.
that. Yeah, strong one. It's always the last one that has to cause problems. Ah. Oh, I like that. Look at that one. That one turned out wicked. Right. Well, that turned out better than I thought. Chop with that. I haven't even drunk my cup of tea. Uh, it, it will be baited eventually, this. Yeah, exactly that, Paul. Yeah, all adventures, uh, uh, all inventions end up different. That's perfect. That. So we got one there. Get this one in. Buddha. That looks wicked. See, they can just. They can go in, swim around, and it's, even to pull your hand out of there is a nightmare. Oh, I'm looking forward to using this. Might even catch a squid in this. You never know. That ain't bad, old chap. That ain't bad, old chap. I'm telling you, that ain't old. That ain't bad. As a few lads said, PPE, oh chap. Right. So now. I need to wrap it, don't I? Have a quick ciggy break and then we are. Plastic float. How's it going to be weighted? With a sash weight. Yeah. Oh, my welding gloves came today. I can't wait for my big burner to come. I'm getting a new gas stove to make some fishing weights. So that'll be one of these uh, winter lives as well. Doing a bit of that. We have to. Let me see. <laughs> All right, that's good. All right. So now, put all this away. We need some more holes. Yeah. I'm going to put a series of 26 mil holes all the way around the bottom so I can wrap, wrap the rope just to make it a bit more sturdy. We are getting there, this is looking wicked. I'm actually really pleased with how that's come out. It's a beast. Surprising how thick this plastic actually is.
Right, there we go. Got a series of smaller holes here. And that's where I'm going to wrap the rope round. And then where I've binded all this together, I'm going to wrap rope round these corners as well. And then that will make this solid. So when I put a big old... Wow, there's 240 people in the live. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, and that's going to rigid this up. And then uh, it ain't going anywhere. That plastic's really thick. Surprising how thick that is. I need some rope. That'll do it. Perfect. While I'm doing this, I'll take those out so I don't break them. Looking wicked. Good thing to know, if you're wrapping crab pots, literally all you got to do is granny knot it on the first bit and leave a tether, and then as you wrap round, wrap that into this lot. So then it stops it come on, coming undone and you don't need any fancy knots. You can just leave it there, wrap it round, and then that will be part of the base on the bottom. Good little tip that. There, you see what I mean? Where it's wrapped underneath, and that will hold it tight enough where it will never come undone.
don't you? See, it's all wrapped up nicely now. And this just acts as a buff against any rocks as well. It stops the sand rubbing it out. Sorry, I'm not chatting much, guys. I'm just uh, trying to get into it. Did you ever see the TA fish? Filled with raptor oil. Slick. Oh, I bet. Yeah, I've, I've seen that video from TA.
nearly there guys I might use the rest of this as the tether to pull it up that's what I'm thinking Oh yeah, it's getting there. So if I run that to the middle here, That's gonna be solid, and that's where I tie my uh, tie my rope to. Bargain. I'm sweating out. And where I've done it is uh, it's the opposite end, so all of the catch will fall down this stronger part of the trap instead of near an entrance. Leave it there.
There we go. We've got our crab pot all strapped up there now. So at least that way we can pull it up. And then that one there is so I can strap it to my push bike. <laughs> Gotta think of the push bike. Sweating out. Um so we need an entrance. What we're gonna use as an entrance. If I cut that out, here. Be nice to have a little door on the top, you know. Yeah, getting there, Sky Quake. Wow, 300 in the live. Make sure to hit that like button, guys. We've got our spectacles on. have an entrance what I'm thinking is uh, I might strap a piece of net in there that I can just tie off and then I can open it and bait it and take the stuff out and then just tie it back up now it won't weaken the structure as you can see I only cut out the weak middle bit I've left the rim there so it's solid if you can feel this sort of plastic it's blood it's really strong stuff Ah, got it. I have an idea. Any kids watching, don't smoke. So then what we're gonna do is use this, and then I'm gonna string it to here, so then that leaves me an entrance to get everything out and rebate it and stuff. I like it. So I need a series of holes around there so I can string that up. And then all we gotta do is make a baiting needle for this and a holder for it and then we'll put these in and fasten them up. That sounds like a plan. I'm just gonna go get a drink of water guys because I'm sweating in here. I'll be back, we're nearly there. She's looking good.
I was sweating out in here. Working hard today. Right. I like this idea. Oh, wow, well, who's that? Captain... Bada Bing Bong. <laughs> what a name. You have taught me so much about sea life. Thank you. Oh, thank you very much. I appreciate that, mate. What a legend. Oh, I really appreciate that. All right. Right, got a series of holes there. Now I need some strip. Do I bring it out or in? No, we'll do it in. All I'm doing here as well is every three I'm just half hitching and then I tie it off there then I do three more half hitches tie it off there and what what that's for it's a bit of weaving so if something breaks where you've only half hitched it it will hit the knot and it won't break all the way around if, if that makes sense 
So you tie it off, then you half hitch it, half hitch it, tie it off. And the same if you're fixing like a net or a crab pot, exactly the same principle. You guys can see it right there. It's a bit like a uh, a whelk pot this. 281 in the live. Bunch of legends. I'll be answering some comments in a sec guys, just concentrating at the moment. Oh, this is going to work well good. I'm going to cut that down about there I reckon.
Now this is a bit like a whelk pot now. There we go guys, see? Nice neat entrance there. With these tag ends, I always melt them. Because this stuff isn't the best for tying with. So if you melt them down so they go over the knot, uh, they never come undone. There we go, beautiful. Baby burn. There we go. And when those get harder, they won't uh they won't come undone whatsoever. <laughs> Josh, rocking the smash merch. Gonna give the trap a name. Can we burn it into? <laughs> burn it into the side of a hot knife. All right. So I don't need it that long. Um. Check that out guys. See we've got a nice entrance now. We can pull everything out. You know what I mean? And then what I'm going to do, um, if I've got something. Aha! We've got a bungee. I'm going to thread that round the, if you can see that, all right, I'm threading it through the holes all the way round. So then this becomes the pull cord. There we go. See there guys, we've got our entrance. And then what I can do is just clip that on there, pull it tight, and there we go. That's the entrance closed. Boom, job done. And when I need to get to it, I just unclip that, pull it open, job done, I can get my hand in. But hey, I will have to, uh, I'll have to get a longer one though, so then I can bend it round and strap it to the side somewhere. But for now, that's that's a big enough hole for me to 
bait it up and get the stuff out of it when I, well if we catch it oh shout out whoever just donated oh captain oh bada bing bong again just because <laughs> you're a legend man thank you but there you go what's the huge hole on the side for for these danny we've made the entrances now see entrances go in the side like so See, it's all starting to come together now, my little wild plan. Oh, shout out whoever just donated again. Felix, thank you very much, mate. You're a very generous person. Yeah, and that's how it's going to go. So we've got one there, one there. So there we go, look. One there, one there. You can see the inside of it now. And you can see there's enough room for a cuttlefish to come in, swim around, and he won't be able to get back out. Booyah! This is this has actually turned out really good. I'm actually I'm really pleased with that. Right, so now we're gonna put these in. Should have made a video on this, eh? <laughs> this is actually a really cool little crab pot, well, uh, cuttlefish pot. But there's uh, no doubt, we we catch lobsters and crabs in this as well. No doubt. How many cable ties we got left? Got five cable ties. I reckon we'll just cable tie those in. That's one in. Booyah. Whoa.
Booyah! That's looking wicked now. Check that out. Boom. All we need now is a baiting needle. I might, but I'm going to put two baiting needles in this, guys. So, one, one like that. So there we go. So our bait and needle, and this would be our pin. So we'll put that on there. Some better pliers. There we go. So I'll put that in the bottom. I can thread my glow light and my bait on there. And then I'll put that through, just like so, and it will sit nicely at the bottom of the trap in the corner. I'll have one this side and one that side, and it will sit inside the trap like that with everything just floating around. And that should actually bring them in quite easily, hopefully. Makes sense, doesn't it? What I've done is I've put them underneath the traps, the entrances, just underneath. So then they have to come into the trap and then down to actually get anything instead of on the side. So it makes sense. 
Are you going to go squid fishing and release? Release that beast? Yeah, I am, Amanda. That's the plan. Hopefully. Yeah, I might go squid fishing tonight and uh and try and uh put this out. See how it works. I use exactly the same style of bait and needle I use on my crab pots as well. Uh, my crab pots, my crab wheels. Booyah. We've got two baiting needles in there now. Entrances are done. The top's done. I don't know if you can see inside there. But there's the baiting needles just on the bottom of the entrances. So they have to come in the trap and then down. So they have to physically go inside it to get at the glow lights and stuff. Yeah, I zip tied the entrances in just because like if anything's going to break, it's going to be these. If there's a big like 30 pound conga goes in here, it will break these. So I put two cable ties on. They're solid. It, it won't move. So that's what I've used. 329 in the live. Nice one, guys. Make sure to hit the like button. Then we got we got our tie off here. We're nearly there. Booyah, like a little ponytail. So yeah, you can see where the uh, bait needles are. They're in, in line with the entrances. Looks good, doesn't it? Will it catch? That's the big question. 
And it's, I can't believe how strong these, these barrels actually are. I didn't realise they were going to be this strong. This thing's going to last forever because I, I will never lose this pot. Because like, I'm only using it when I'm actually fishing. So I throw it out for a couple of hours. And then I'll, I'll tie it off to the bench and then just pull it back in. So that is going to be a beast. Um... Anything now is the sash weight, but the sash weight, I'm literally just going to strap it to the bottom here. I'm just going to tie it on the bottom. So that's, that's it finished, I think. That's not bad. What do you reckon, guys? Are we going to catch some cuttlefish in our new Cuttlefish Master 10,000? Uh, excuse me. Yeah, I think, I think we're pretty good. That's one, one cut, there you go, that's what it looks like from a distance. I reckon it's going to work. We got a holder, I like a, I like to make a slider because if you get it caught in the rocks, uh, with a slider the rope can pull from uh, different angles, so you can get this out of the rocks easy. Hell yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> Hopefully. Yeah, I'm impressed with that, looks good. And it's so light, that probably weighs about know, a kilo, probably. So that is going to be easy to strap to my push bike, and I can even chuck it on my shoulder. So, that's happy days, that. There's the entrances. That's what the entrances look like. So they can come in and can't come out, back out again. Yeah, the cuttlefish master. <laughs> I love it. Looks good, eh, Inglorious? Look at my, look, I've got a net on the top now so I can open it like a whelk pot and I can pull everything out and bait it up and stuff. And then I just pull that tight and then it's, it's shut. Yeah, they give rain. I'm putting my waterproofs on, mate. I'm still going. Just like the old days, mate. All I do is put the camera here, and then I'll put my coat over, and if I catch, I'll quickly unzip it. Job done. I'm done with this weather now. I, I, there's only so much I can stay in the shed for. Yeah, it looks good, eh? Wow, I'm really pleased with it. Two of them. Yeah. Yeah, there's nothing else that I need to do with it. Sam, yeah, Sam's coming tonight, mate. We're just going out for an all-out squid session, then I'll do a catch and cook tomorrow. You need to get one down, stick it on the end, Peter string. It's true, out there where Dan puts his pots, he, he'll do well on it. My shed is an absolute wreck. What kind of weight will you use to weigh it down? A sash weight, it's called. Oh, you're right, Earl. Uh, do you want to see my cuttlefish pot 10,000? There you go. This is the cuttlefish pot 10,000. So it's got my bait and needles in there. Those are the entrances. So they can come in and can't get back out again. That's where I can undo the bungee and then I can get to my bait and stuff. That's what it looks like. Booyah! Oh, Sam, I've got 10 fathoms of rope there. That rope's going to do for it. But hey, we're on a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Do I have a carabiner anyway?
Oh, I know what. I'll keep that. I've got spare rope that's on a carabiner, so I'll just clip it straight onto the crab pot. Cheers, Al. A lot of serious mess to clean up in here, though. <laughs> Oh, GoPro mount. GoPro mount. Shout out whoever just said that. I need a GoPro mount. Whoa. That came out well in the end, eh? It's all nice and dry now. Nice and smooth. Ah, got it. Right, we got it. Good idea to put a GoPro mount. Uh, it's a gorilla bucket. So the left bone's connected to the right bone. And that there, see it's got a sticky pad on the back and then I can cable tie both sides and that can sit inside of the pot. And then that gives me enough movement up and down that I can change the change it sounds good I need to mark it first.
That was a good idea, whoever said that. Now we can fit a GoPro mount on there. I can just screw my GoPro on. Good. Well, that's good. That might work. Oh, yeah, well. Get a bigger drill bit. No. Mm. no it's going to have to do. It's a nightmare to fit this, I'll tell you that much. Sorted. We have a GoPro mount. Thanks for ever reminding me about that. That would have been a nightmare to do at the beach otherwise.
GoPros in there. Right, now we're ready. All sorted. Just joined. You right, Zion? Just mark and drill it on the outside then. Put them out on the inside. That's easier said than done, one. Time for a Siggy J. Yeah, I will have one in a minute. <laughs> I do have a few good ideas. Cheers, Twister Fisherman. I like it. Yeah, that would have been a nightmare. Otherwise, I would have been down the beach trying to strap my tripod to it. So, at least it's fixed there now. And we're ready to go. Beautiful. Chirping with that. I'm going to have a non-alcoholic beer because they're actually really refreshing. Uh, I won't be going live when I'm going fishing. Definitely not. Uh, the weather's too bad at the moment. Yeah, the weather's, it's not bad right now, but um, later on it's going to rain and we're going to get all sorts of rubbish. So it's just a bit of a pain. Yeah. No, we haven't done bad with that. I'm looking forward to using it. What's the bets we catch a conga? I've actually got a guilt head frame in my... Uh, in my freezer. Put your GoPro under the pint glass. Hundred percent conga, yeah, you know it. I reckon we, we probably won't catch a cuttlefish now. Same as my my portable lobster pot. I haven't had a lobster in it yet, but I've had a cuttlefish. I've had conga eel. I've had brown crab. I've had lady crab. I've had spider crab. Everything but a bloody lobster. I, I bet it's the same for that. I'll catch everything but a bloody cuttlefish. Yeah, I'm chirping. Uh, like I did with this, uh, I'll put some pictures on the Instagram and stuff so you guys can have a proper look at it. Looking forward to seeing this pot in action. I hope the cuttlefish don't chew up the GoPro. Nah, they won't. My GoPro's got a really strong mount for it, so be still. Conga cook. If we get a decent one, definitely. I really want like a, a decent session on the squid. I want some decent squid. Mm. I'll clean up the mess another day. She's a beast. Yeah. Yeah, if you want any merch, guys. It's in the uh, description, in the link that uh, Scott just put in there. Stop smoking, yeah, I know. I need to give up. I'm trying to give up at the moment, but um, yeah, I'm stuck inside losing my mind, so I haven't given up. Uh, this, uh, this is me just randomly making something, but I'm sure you can buy like uh, cuttlefish traps, I think. I'm not too sure. But yeah, this is just me being random and just uh, building something. But yeah. It's going to last a long time, that. It's bloody strong. Yeah, I'm looking forward to using this. It's going to be good. This, uh, uh, Sam hasn't seen it yet. No, he's going to see it tonight. Mm. I'd like to see how you roast a whole fish I made. Yellowtail snapper. Um, on a catch and cook bream, uh, catch and cook gilt and bream, I roasted a whole fish. Oh, nice, Adam. That's cool. Cheers, Maggie. I appreciate that. You should try and make some shore crab traps. Uh, I've done that when I was a kid. I used to make little ones out of chicken wire, and uh, they work really well. Come on, folks. Why not? Buy some smashed clothing as awesome present for a loved one. Definitely, John. Thanks. Yeah, cuttlefish is really good eating. Hello from Australia. My name is Ashton. Shout out the Aussies. Keen to see you do more boat trips. Yeah, uh, well, I'll do as many as I can because winter's here now, see? So it makes it a bit more difficult. 
And my dad brings up his crab pots at winter time, so. Uh, smoke if you want, it's a free world. Yeah, exactly. I just don't like to advertise it, you know what I mean? It's very satisfying making your own stuff. Nice one, Smash. Cheers, mate. I make most of most of my stuff, like the disgorgers and all of my foraging hooks and everything. That's all made by us. Have you ever been to Ireland? I haven't, no. I wouldn't mind going there. Good fishing there. I'll keep my glasses for the... What should we build next? What should I get? I'm up for building while the rain's here. What should we build next? Should we build a lobster pot? Should we build... Uh, what should we build? What do you reckon? Should I build a knife? I can make a knife if you want. Could your dad put some deep pots out on the west coast and try for crayfish? I probably could, uh, Maggie, but his boat's on, uh, on the north coast of the island, so he'd have to drive round. How big do cuttlefish get? Massive. Um, YouTube memes. Uh, I've caught them to four pound before, but they get a hell of a lot bigger. A hell of a lot bigger. Oh, shout out Anthony. Cheers, mate. No, thank you. What a legend. Build a conga trap so you'll catch, so you'll catch lobsters. <laughs> I could. I could build a conga trap. I'll make like an elo elongated tube and uh, have big fish entrances in the side. That could be an, that could be an idea. A knife. I could build a knife, Ron. Uh, I'll go get a, uh, uh, what do you call it? Springs in a car. And I'll make a, I'll make a knife out of that. No, I definitely ain't been licking no worms, mate. <laughs> build a canoe. If I had the space, I would. Me and Sam have spoke about it. Because when, well, well, when I was a bit younger, I used to make dinghies out of fiberglass. I used to make the moulds out of bendy ply. And then I'd fiberglass the dinghy and build it up and sell them. Um, I could I could make a dinghy maybe. If you guys want to see how to make a, a, a like a seven foot dinghy. A knife you can't break. Build a rod. No, David, I, I couldn't build a rod. Love to see you make a knife. Very cool, that would be fun. Yeah, it's just like, if we, if we get like a week of rain like we're having at the moment, I can't get out fishing making videos, so I don't mind doing lives. And uh, like I can make a knife or whatever. <laughs> Cheers, Stevie. A dinghy. can make a dinghy. The only problem with a dinghy is uh, most of the stuff will have to be done inside, especially if I'm fiberglass and you can't have any moisture. So a dinghy might be a bit difficult. I don't know. Netted shrimp. Oh, nice. Are you the number the number engineer in the UK? No, I'm not an engineer. I'm just a builder and a fisherman. Well, you used to be a builder. What a funny word. Word, dinghy. Wonder where it came from. No idea. Build a house. Make a fish smoker. That's an idea. How many liters in that bucket smash? I have no idea. It's quite big. Try building a mini trap. I can hold one. Tr <laughs> What's the point in that? Hey, eh? make a little mini trap. Uh, I don't know. I'll have a think about it. Yeah, a mini trap would be easy to make. Prawn trap. Yeah, prawn traps are really easy. I'd make it in half an hour. About 60 litres, I reckon. Yeah, David. I could make a shrimp, a push net for a shrimp. I don't know. There's a lot of things I could make. Shrimp, pat, live bait. Yeah, could do, could do. Hmm, it's good ideas. Yeah, what should we make? A 
bass shrimp net is stronger. That is stronger. I've already made that, David. I've got a stronger net. Uh, it's got a, an old landing net mesh on it. It's massive, but uh, it's a bit bulky because with the bass with netting them, you've got to be so quick. So uh, it's just uh, it's hard to push it through the water. Dig a tunnel to England, old oh, Dave. <laughs> A fold up dinghy. Right, diving and just seeing. <laughs> Love to see a spear. Uh, yeah, I can't use a spear. You're not allowed to spear anything out of the water over here. It's illegal. What was your previous job, Jay? Just wondering since you were a builder. Uh, I was a, I'm a carpenter by trade, um, but I did like a lot of blocking and plastering and. Uh, fiberglass and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, I was a bit of a jack of all trades. Love to see basic stuff, how to do not tackle, etc. <laughs> drop net. I've got a drop net. Um, see ya. Me, me and Sam made this one. Where it's foldable, but it's massive. And uh, yeah, it just slots together and it's, it's giant. It's about, it's about a five foot circumference. And uh, that is a brilliant drop net. So yeah, we've already got a drop net. Make a spear gun. Uh, nah, I probably wouldn't trust it to be honest. Spear gun, is, <laughs> I'd rather buy one because uh, they're a bit, um, bit temperamental sometimes, spear guns. Um, still lost. Still lost on the uni knot I use. 30 pound braid only on my lure rod. I've been feeling really down today. You cheered me up. Cheers, John. Hope you get better soon, buddy. Go with the shrimp trap. Make a super dinghy. Do you have a video of how to make that? Yeah, there's a video on the channel of how to make the drop net. Do you have a boat or is it called Inglorious? I don't have a boat. Hope you're okay, John, David. Zero experience. When are you launching that bad boy? Tonight. I'm going to throw that out. Can you catch whiting down there? Yeah, we do catch whiting here, but not, not a huge amount of them. Not like the UK does. We get more bass than we do whiting. Uh, what bait are you using in the cuttlefish traps? Probably... Um, mackerel heads i've got a gilt head frame from one of the catching cooks in my freezer so i might put that in it and then uh, i'm going to flood it full of uh, glow lights as well i'm just rubbish at knots only no blood knot a uni knot's really easy to tie so look you got your bit of string sorry got your bit of string all you do is you go either way, like so, or well, let me see, like, like that. Let me go over, just like that. Make a little loop, then you make another loop, just spin it over, then you go round, well, however many times. Uh, 30 pound, you should be able to get away with uh, at least, well, five turns should do it. Five turns, pull it up, job done, and then it pulls down. Yeah. I offered Sam to make a super ding he said to do. Uh, the thing is is uh, on a rainy day it's hard to make stuff like that cuz we need we need space indoors. Yeah, there's loads of tutorials on YouTube of how to do uni knots and stuff. Make a lure jay. I've made one, I made one a while back. I can make another lure. Yeah, that was my little bass lure that I made. I carved it from a uh, a little Stanley knife and a piece of oak. There's a video on the channel of that as well, of how I made that. I might make a squid jig. I need a squid jig. Should we make a squid jig? Half man's blood knot. I use top blood knot a lot. Uh, I either use a uni knot or top blood knot. That's my best one. What's up from the Bahamas? Make a few snares to go after rabbits. 
Could do, eh? Make a squid jig. See, I've got I've got loads of old squid jigs here, where I could I could take the metal out of that, and then make a squid jig, and then uh, we might do that on the next live. All right. I think that's fair. I need to try and make some videos to uh, get the content up a little bit at the moment. So, so yeah, we'll make a squid jig next, I reckon. I've got some ball bearings as well, so I can weight it. What else do you catch? Apart from cuttlefish, crabs, lobsters, congers. You can catch anything in traps. Even just a normal crab pot, you can catch anything, to be fair. Squid. Yeah, I might make a squid jig. Shall I use, like, a piece of an orma shell as the reflective on it? Uh, biggest lobsters I caught is about three and a half pounds. Nothing gigantic. Squid jig sounds cool. Yeah, sound. All right, we'll do that on the next live then. We'll make a... Uh, we'll make a squid jig. Or Michelle would be sick, yeah. It's like... You think of, like, the reflectiveness of that, and I'll, I'll, I'll cut it out, I'll sand it down, and I'll integrate it into the lure and see, see how that goes. I'm not saying it's going to work, but let's try. Is it the same for you for catching squid or cuttlefish? Yeah, same thing. Yeah, we're live, mate. I love that fan art. Sweet girl. Yeah, some cool fan art. <laughs> yeah. Go Nick Jen's nail polish. That'd be cool. I could even cut like a groove in the bottom and then I could clip a glow light on it. That'd be cool. Yeah, I'll have to find something to make it out of. Oh, that's even better. Oh, check that out. There's a hole in the middle, so we could we could put a, a wire through and connect it to a wire straight through to the eyelet, and that would be solid. Oh, I like that. We're gonna do that. There we go. We've got our squid jig stuff. Sound. All right, guys. Well, I'll see you on the next live. Thanks to all the super chatters today. A bunch of legends. Thanks, everyone, for watching. And uh, we'll be back for another live to do the uh, squid jig. Oh, yeah. And hopefully we can catch some squid tonight, and then you'll see how the trap does. All right. Later, mate. So take it easy. Have a nice one. See you later. Adios, amigos.